Jamie, welcome back to my channel. I thought a really cute idea for a video would be to do a New Year's Eve party full coverage makeup fantasy. I don't know what else to call it, but well, we'll see what I call it in the video title. This is just what I thought of when I thought, I wonder what girls might want on New Year's Eve. I mean, New Year's Eve, you want something quite heavy. You want something dramatic, you want sparkle for sure. I mean, if there's one night of the year you want glitter and sparkle, then it's going to be New Year's Eve. I am fully booked on New Year's Eve, as well as probably every makeup artist in the world. And I also thought I'd love to make this video for someone who just wants to be a little bit extra. Now if you've watched my videos before, you know I don't stand by any one specific thing to get one specific look. If you like what you see in this video, you can get those products if you want. Or you can even just use what you have that looks similar. It's really quite simple. You can go down to Superdrug and get the cheapest version of all this. It doesn't matter. But this is what I made. It's a half cut crease, smoky, with a fat lash and some liner, a nudish lip, and yeah. And I obviously I went and got my sparkly jumper. Yeah! And it's on the back. Yeah, I look, this is actually a two-piece tracksuit. <laughs> but I don't have the bottom half on just now because, well, you can't see it anyway. So without wasting any more time, I'm going to get straight into it. Enjoy. Mwah. Right, okay guys, so for the sake of quickness, I've already done one eye, one brow, foundation and concealer. I know that's a lot to do off camera, but for the sake of quickness, come on. And the drama in this look is all in the eyes. That's the main focus. I've not done any contouring and highlighting, so we'll do that too. So I'm going to try and zoom you in, not a lot, not all up in my grill, but I'm going to try and zoom you in just a little bit and we'll get going with these eyes. Okay, so I think that's zoomed in enough for me. I have a tutorial showing you exactly how I get this type of sharp, carved out brow. I'll leave the video in the description box below. I mean, it's New Year's Eve. You want to slay. Now, all the shadows in this look, apart from the shimmery pigment on the eyelid, is from the one palette, and that is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. I appreciate a palette that has a good few cool tones because not a lot of palettes do. Yeah, she's cute. So I've already used my MAC Select Cover Up Concealer in NW15 as a eyeshadow base and to carve out my eyebrow. And the first shadow I'm going to be going in with is Zone. Now you know me, I'm the queen of use whatever you want to use. Zone is basically a nice medium brown shade. It's like a really good chocolate brown. And what I've been doing with my shadows recently is just tapping them on and blending them later. There's not a lot of warmth in any of these colours really. And for this I'm just using an average, I think this brush is by the brand Crown, it's just an average fluffy blending brush. Then I'm going to go in with my Morphe MB23 brush and just blend out the edges. Once I'm kind of happy with that, I'm going to go in with my next shade. It is the shade Punk from the same palette. It is in the top right hand corner and it's kind of like a deep maroon colour. Again, I'm literally just dabbing the colour on. Now this colour is so dark, so don't get scared but I know it's scary. Mainly keeping it on the outer edge, but bringing it in a little bit. Going back to that first eyeshadow brush you used to apply the dark brown, you're just gonna blend out that shade. You wanna be careful when you're blending, because if you blend too much, colors all merge into one. You definitely wanna be able to see on the eye that you've got a lighter color, going into a darker color, going into a darker color. Now taking the scariest shade in the palette, I'm gonna be taking the black, which is called Blackout. It's a very famous black eyeshadow. Urban Decay also sell Blackout just on its own. It's the best black eyeshadow if you ever need one. Go to Urban Decay, get Blackout. And I'm placing the Blackout, oh. Do you know what I forgot to do? Because we're playing with blacks and ain't nobody got time for fallout. Come here. I'm going to go in with a little bit of translucent powder and just pop it there because I've not got time. So once all the shadow falls, we can just wipe it away. This is why I usually do my eyes first, but for the sake of, I don't know, I'm trying new things. So going in with that black, I'm focusing it just on the outer edge and then bring it in just a little bit up top. But the main bulk of the black should be placed about here. And then if you want, you can bring it in a little bit, but don't bring it in too far. Now what I do want to do looking at this, I want to go back to that very first shade, that zone, that light, light brown. And I just want to buff out my edges. If you feel like you want to blend more, but you're scared that you keep adding more shadow, you can grab a clean brush and just blend your edges. 
it's always a good idea to have a good old clean brush with no product on it, just by the side, just in case things get a bit stressful. What I'm going to do now is go back to that Select Cover Up Concealer by MAC, put a little bit on my hand because I'm going to cut a crease. Cut creases are not for everyone, I know that. You want to look amazing on New Year's Eve, and if you think a cut crease is going to look silly or if you've never done one before, don't do it on yourself for the first time on New Year's Eve. Don't do that. I mean, I'm going to cut my crease, trust and believe, but you definitely don't need to. I'm just extra. Here's a little tip for you if you're ever cutting a crease. Concealer. There. All here. First. Look down and look up. Bring your head back up and you can see how high your crease has to come. So now you can see that highest point where the concealer reached, that's going to be the highest point of your cut crease. And I always find when cutting my crease that dabbing the concealer on is the best way to go. Sometimes I think when you drag it, it can get really a little bit messy. So I definitely prefer to dab. Now I always like to use a concealer to cut my crease because it gives me a guide. It lets me know where I'm going. But what I always do after that is if I'm applying a glitter or a pigment, I go in with a little bit of glitter glue. Now you can use lash glue. If you're a good old drag queen, then you know. You can use a lash glue. But I do like glitter glues that are a little bit less heavy on the eye. Um, and MYX do an amazing one. It's this MYX glitter primer. Quite easy. Again, treating this the same way. Dabbing it on. Make sure you're getting to all the edges of where you put the concealer to. If you don't get to the edges, the pigment will have nothing to stick to. Now acting real quickly, I'm going to take one of my new favourite pigments, and I think this is perfect for New Year's Eve. This is a pigment by a brand called Peaches and Cream, they're based down in Liverpool. This is the shade Gatsby. Now, it's just a loose pigment, but it's kind of like a glitter too. Their pigments are the best, I have a few of them now. Like, I am all about that. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you're touching the very edges of the crease with the pigment because if you don't touch the edges, it's going to look messy. And I mean, cutting a crease is hard anyway. Never mind doing it on camera, it makes it a lot harder. Okay, and once you've done that, I like to go in with a little bit of liquid liner. Sometimes I use gel. I mainly use gel on clients, but on myself, sometimes I'm like, ugh. Ain't nobody got time for gel. Just throw the liquid on. But how beautiful is that pigment? Like, ugh. Okay, so black liquid liner, here we go. We're not going to do a really, really fine line. We're going to actually go thicker out here and bring it thinner to the inner corner. Liquid liner is really hard to do as well. Like, these things aren't easy on camera, but like, I'm trying because I'm dedicated to the cause. Because we all have to fucking slay the game on New Year's Eve. Come on. Now, I have a lot of clients on New Year's Eve, but I'm sure there are tons of girls out there who want to look incredible. And they probably do it anyway, but maybe they want to have a really cool makeup and they can't afford to get it done. Like... This is for you. So can you see how the liner is smaller in the inner corner? And as it goes out, I, I didn't follow my eye shape and go back down with the liner. I actually brought it straight up to the end of the glare. And that black shadow we did earlier helps it blend. So it's not it doesn't just stop really strongly, it just blends. Keep in mind we are putting lashes on. Half of this liner is probably going to get covered up anyway. Do I talk too fast? Is that a thing? Can you comment down below and tell me if I talk too fast? But not if you're Scottish. Because I think if you're Scottish, I don't talk too fast. But if you're not Scottish, like, do you even understand me? Now what I'm going to do is dip back into the black eyeshadow again. And dab it on the ends. So basically, I want that glitter to ombre itself out. Kind of like this. Okay, what you're going to want to do now is definitely grab a face brush and take off all that fallout. Now, under eye makeup scares people. And I get it. I completely get it. So I'm not going to go too ham with it. I'm going to jump into that first shade we used, that zone shade, and place it underneath the eye. Sometimes what can help is if you pull your pull your eye a little. I know people that hate touching eyes and stuff will hate this, but if you pull your eye, you give yourself a bit more space. Then I'm going to add a little bit of this Inglot gel liner in the waterline. Okay, okay. Very seductive. Once that's done, I'm literally just going to grab a clean eyeshadow brush. Make sure it's clean, first of all. And just go around all my edges. I'm going to go and throw on an eyelash and a little bit of mascara. And I'll be back to finish the rest of my face. Okay, lashes are on. I'm living. They're just Eldora, my good old pair of M106s stacked with H167s. That's a mouthful, but if you watch my go-to glam or my last YouTube video, you know what they're all about. So next, I just need to chisel this face out. I need to get a bit contoured, I think, don't you? So I'm just going to take a little bit of my bronzer, out the Kat Von D shade and light palette, and throw it on. So what are y'all doing for New Year's? 
comment below, let me know. I have no plans this year. Obviously me and my boyfriend are just back from Australia um, and for the last few years we've just watched fireworks and like got drunk and New Year in Australia is summer. It's a completely different, you know, type of ball game. Whereas here, if you do anything outdoors, then good luck. Here in Scotland we call New Year's Eve Hugmanay. That's something I don't know the history of, and I probably should. And the whole three, two, one, hey, we call that bringing in the bells, but I think, is that just a Scottish thing? I don't know. So throwing that bronzer on, not being too anal with it. Like I said, the main focus in this look is definitely the eyes. Next thing I'm gonna do is grab the contour shade. Well, my contour shade from the Kat Von D shade and light. Just that one here. I'm only gonna put that right underneath my cheekbone. And then taking a mixture of all three of them, jawline. Snatched. Oh, she needs a bigger brush for the jawline, honey. And literally I've been using this brush for everything recently, the PC03 brush by Peaches and Cream. I was recently at an event in Glasgow called Glam Squad and Peaches and Cream had a stall there, so I got myself another one. I've never bought a duplicate of a brush, I don't think. Potentially my favourite brush of all time. Anyway, nose. So what I like to do with my nose is just contour each side. Now I'm not getting up in drag. So I don't need that harsh line. Just a little bit on each side. I mean, keep in mind this is New Year's Eve. We don't play games. Most likely the event that you're putting this makeup on for is going to be at a club or somewhere with dimmed light. So you can paint for the back row because it's not like you're going to be in this lighting. Next I'm going to be using a little bit of this Peachy Keen Blusher by MAC. This one is quite intense as well so you want to just take it easy with her. Like you really do not need a lot. Yeah, let me all know what you're doing for New Year, because I'm very intrigued. What I'm going to do now is give myself a little spray of MAC Fix Plus, because apart from highlight, I'm done with powders. So I'm going to give myself a little spray before my highlight. But you might be waiting till it's almost dry for about six months, because the amount that I put on is too much. Okay, so I think we're almost we're almost dry. So what I'm going to do is dip into one of my new favourite highlighters. It is by Doll Beauty. And this one is called Like a Diamond. This is everything. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm obsessed with it. And hit my inner corners of my eyes with it. Highlighter on. Final thing will be lips. Where are you? I'm going to use a new liquid lip I picked up from Beauty Bay. This is Ofra Cosmetics and this is the shade Pasadena. Oh. She is nice. Okay, so for a little ombre effect, I'm also going to add a little bit of Sal Powell. Also a liquid lip by Ofra, just in the centre. Okay. And we're done. Go slay New Year. Three, two, one. Okay you guys, and that is it. This is another heavier look from me of course. It's New Year's Eve, this is why you came here. As I said before, I made this video for everyone who may want to look fabulous on New Year's Eve but can't afford to come and get me to do it for them. <laughs> and New Year's Eve is definitely a night for most people where you want to look fabulous. You don't just want to look fabulous for other people, you want to feel fabulous. You know, coming into the new year, you want to feel the best version of yourself. And I don't know how this cut crease full makeup might do that for you, but you would be surprised how much, you know, makeup can make you feel good. But you all know this, that's why you're here. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like the fact that we basically just did eyes and contour and blush and all that, or if you'd prefer to actually see foundation, brows, eyes, every single time. Those videos just get so long. As of recently, like maybe the last week, I've only put up like one video. I'm trying to really get as many out as I can, but things have been so crazy. This is December, so we have been fully booked in the salon. We've also had events that we've been to and we had our own Christmas night out this weekend. Plus makeup almost fully booked every Friday and Saturday of December. So it's quite mad right now. Anyway, honestly, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video and you want to look like this on New Year's Eve, well, even if you didn't want to look like this but you still enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up it's right there the button's right there you may as well just click it also i would absolutely love if you would consider subscribing to my channel doesn't mean anything doesn't cost you anything just helps me also come on over to snapchat and instagram and say hi give me a follow let me know how you are and let me know if you're enjoying the videos i absolutely love it i keep getting instagram dms of people just saying i watch your videos thank you which is crazy because i don't have i mean 300 subscribers and the bigger picture isn't a lot but if you think about 300 people i mean it is quite a lot so thank you and finally please leave me a comment down below and let me know what you're doing for new year's eve or what makeup look you have planned for new year's eve or maybe what your new year's resolution is i don't usually do them but let me know what yours is and if it's good i'll steal it stay snatched and be nice to people